Hello, 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 dreamers, and welcome back to Dream Queen by Perla. So, Gemini, this is your weekly reading. And again, guys, these are general readings, so only take whatever applies. Um, whatever disappoints you, or whatever is disappointing you this week, you need to... Two things. You need to not, let me word this correctly, because people, um, again, everybody's going to understand from their perspective. Um, you need to not internalize it. And what I mean by that is not allow it to take over your emotions and your feelings, not allow it to get a reaction out of you. Now, with that being said, there are things that do get to us at that moment in time, right? And and it's almost like, you know what? Yeah, that got me upset. You know what? That was messed up. You know what? That was whatever it is. Acknowledge it for what it is, but don't hold on to it. So it's almost like you acknowledge something. You acknowledge that you're disappointed in someone or in something, in a situation, but you don't allow it to stop you from moving forward you don't allow it from stopping you from continuing on and this may be a very long <laughs> it seems let's put it this way like a very long bridge for you guys to actually cross over to the other side but it's actually not and and it may be something new for you. Um, it may be a new way of doing things. It may be a new way of um, experiencing things or dealing with things. But there is a sense of like it needing to happen. Um, and they're literally, 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 excuse me, showing me like um, a, a foot, um, like a boot and a foot, like kicking, like you're literally like kicking something out. And and it's almost like that's what you have to do when it comes to. Um, situations where you feel disappointed you feel disappointed in a person's actions you feel disappointed in an outcome of something and it's like you know what don't especially like if it's something that someone did don't internalize that because they're they're doing whatever they feel is right for them they're doing whatever they feel they're being led to do and you don't have to understand it, but you do have to respect it. Um, and you also have, you also have, the, the one thing you do have to understand is that you have the right to choose who you keep in your life and who you decide to say bye-bye to. So it, it's almost kind of like that energy. There's something that you have to literally like give the boot to and like kick out of your life completely because there there is this sense where during this time for whatever the reason gemini's a lot of you may have may be feeling um bombarded um mentally let's put it this way um and, and i'm feeling like this has a lot to do with like an, um, a transformation or an ascension that you guys are going through so there there may be this sense where your mind may be a little bit more overactive than normal where you're maybe overthinking about certain things where you may be holding on to certain things um, a little longer and it may seem like it's a little longer to shift out of certain things so you have to really during this time that solitude time with yourself um, that's that's time with spirit it um, whether it's you know spirit your ancestors your angels your guides your animals um, guides whatever it is that you connect to um, you need to like strengthen that a little bit more and it's not necessarily um, you know, and, and everybody has their own opinion on this. Again, um, I'm not telling you to go ahead and build an altar. I'm not telling you to go ahead and light candles. I'm not telling you to do none of that, right? Everybody does whatever comes to them, right? Um, personally, I've shared, um, very publicly, I don't, I don't have an altar in, in a sense of like what, what people consider an altar let's put it that way um 
Uh, I use candles, obviously, for my readings and things like that. But I'm not a very routine, ritual type of person in that sense. Like, when I want... When I want to connect to my angels, my guides, my ancestors, my animals, my my spiritual team, I sit with myself. Usually, usually I'm not gonna lie, in the dark because I like it. Um, <laughs> but I can do it in bright daylight, right? So it's like if I'm home, I prefer to do it in the dark. If I'm out in nature, I'm sitting leaning against a tree, and all I do is just sit there and breathe and I call forth whoever it is right that I'm trying to connect with and that's it so it doesn't have to be this over um elaborate crazy thing in order for you to connect with your spiritual team. but it is something that is definitely needed during this time especially as you're going through through this ascension or through this um, next phase in your spirituality because there are certain things let's put it this way when you're in that space of ascension um, or you're in that space of evolving spiritually where because physically your body's trying to catch up with what's happening spiritually um, there are certain symptoms that happen right um, and what I'm picking up for you guys, cause it's like, it keeps on coming back is like the, it, it's almost like, it's not so much of like a pain, but it's more like a tension, like, right. Like it's literally like not just your forehead. It's like from here to here. Right. And it's like, it's not even going all the way around. It's like here, like, like half the crown <laughs> for some reason, but that's, that's the way that it's showing up to be honest with you. And, and it's almost like, be very careful that during this time, instead of, um, Instead of trying to shut it down or instead of trying to deal with it by like binge watching TV or this or this or that, you're actually going inward or that you're actually connecting to your spiritual team. All right, so let's go ahead and let's get um, three tarot cards, three tarot cards, three tarot cards for Gemini. So this is very interesting, to be honest with you. We have the Ten of Pentacles with the Ten of Cups in the reverse, and we have the Seven of Swords in the reverse. And, and it's almost like a lot of you during this time, to be honest with you, it may have taken you a long time, but you're surrendering to what was conditioned to you when it comes to where you were supposed to be at in your life financially where you were supposed to be at your life life emotionally or like in a relationship or kids and this and this and that and instead you're allowing yourself to surrender to what it is that spirit is guiding you through um and and it's almost like you're you're taking away this energy of like well instead of like i don't have you're being grateful or you should be grateful for what it is that you have. So, you know, a lot of times people are like, well, by the time you're 30, you should have this. By the time you're, you know, you're, you're 30, you should be married with kids and you should do this and you should do that. And for so long, you held that vision that even if, let's say, you don't have kids or you had kids younger or you have the house, but you don't have the kids or you have the kids, but you don't have the house or whatever it is, you would periodically fall into these spaces where you feel or you felt like you you weren't doing enough or like you weren't good enough and now it's like you're literally letting go of that conditioning when it comes to what society has conditioned you to believe yeah all righty so let's go ahead and let's pull out an oracle card. Now, this can be confirmation to the reading. This can be your advice or simply something that you're not aware of that um, you need to be made aware of. Netcaster, number 42. Preparations come to fruition. 
So with the net caster, right? When when you're when you're putting a net down on like especially like if you're fishing and stuff, you're trying to catch a fish, and and it's almost like you the net to me in this picture represents that seven of swords in the reverse, where you're surrendering and you're just like okay, I'm just gonna surrender to what it is that I am meant to have and when I am meant to have it, and I'm just going to go ahead and follow the follow the guidance that spirit is giving to me at this time and trust me when you do that everything in your life starts to shift and it starts to shift very quickly and just I don't know why I have to say this but as an FYI there there is going to be the next couple of um six months you're going to have blocks of like days where you're going to feel like this because you're just accelerating that fast within your spirituality um, and that's pretty much it. Well, guys, as always, thank you for all your love and support. Thank you for liking, sharing, subscribing to the channel. Thank you to all of those that have been donating. It is greatly appreciated. And if you have not liked, share, or subscribed, I encourage you to do so. It helps with growing the channel, getting the video out there for more people, as well as keeping me accountable. For personal readings, so all that information can be found down below in the description. Sending every single one of you love, strength, and blessing, guys. Take care. Mwah! Love you all. Bye-bye.